Now, in the old days, we used hydrometers to draw the fluid out of the cells. We'd use heavy carbon pile load testers to put a, you know, a, a very high uh, amperage load shorting out the two terminals. This is all dangerous and unnecessary today. Modern technology, microprocessors, have given us the conductance battery tester. Now, this unit um, does use a microprocessor to analyze what's going on inside the battery, and it'll give you a lot more information than the old hydrometer slash load testing uh, technique, and it's much safer to use because we're not actually putting a load through the battery. What this device is doing is sending a very low-level pulsating signal from one post to another, and it's actually measuring the time it takes for that signal to get through the battery. What we know is, as a battery ages, its internal resistance increases. So that would slow down the, uh, the amount of time, or increase the amount of time, that it would take for that signal to actually get from post to post. This microprocessor can figure all that out, and there's a direct correlation between that time and the condition of the battery. Now, you do have to provide this machine with some information. You're going to have to let it know what the specifications are for the battery you're working with. Now, on this label, we see the group size identified, it's cold cranking amp rating, uh, it's got its marine cranking amp rating, and its reserve capacity rating in minutes. For this particular Medtronics tester, it's just as easy to use the cold cranking amp ratings because it's one of the default um, selectable test criteria programmed into the machine already. So this is a Group 24 battery, and I see that it's rated at 800 cold cranking amps. Well, we need to let this Medtronics tester know that we're working with 800 cold cranking amps. Now. To work the machine, again, you simply follow the keys. Right now, it's telling me to hit the Enter key, and it's going to scroll to the next page, where it's going to ask me if the battery is in a vehicle or out of a vehicle. Well, it's sitting here on the bench, so obviously it's out of the vehicle. So I'm going to use my arrow key, scroll down, hit Enter. What type of battery is it? This is a regular battery. It's not an AGM battery, and it will uh, actually use different test criteria for those two types. So I'm going to hit Enter again. Now it's asking me to give the CCA rating. All right, let's see what we've got. Up key, no, we're going to stick to CCA, hit Enter, and now we're going to adjust the actual meter to the rating on the battery. And so we're going to slide up to 800. Whoops, it's very sensitive. Okay, we're at 800. I'm going to hit enter. It's testing the battery right now. State of health, 100%. The battery is in great state of charge. It's not quite fully charged. In fact, our initial voltage reading was 12.46. As we've already discussed in the presentation, Fully charged would be 12.6 volts or greater. The beauty of this tester is it doesn't have to have a fully charged battery to give you a good result. So our measured cold cranking amps on this particular battery uh, will scroll, and it's coming out at 735 cold cranking amps. Not a problem, even though it's rated at 800. In fact, most batteries will typically have more cold cranking amps than the, the label indicates. Um, it has lost some of its uh, cranking amp capability, but that's simply because the battery is not brand new. What we might find is if it were up to fully charged, that CCA rating would come up to the full 800. I want to talk about a few additional features of these types of battery testers. Whether it's a Medtronics unit, Snap-on, it really doesn't matter. Virtually all of the conductance battery testers have an additional set of features built in. Uh, depending on the specific model, it can be more or less features. But they'll all do a basic 
a charging system test, as well as a starter circuit test. And it's generally done after testing the batteries. It'll automatically bring you into those test sequences, and all you have to do is follow the on-screen instructions, press the button it tells you, and do what the screen tells you to do. Sometimes it'll ask you to start the engine and run it. Sometimes it'll ask you to rev the engine up. It'll tell you to turn loads off, turn loads on. Just follow the on-screen instructions and it'll walk you right through and give you a charging system analysis and a starter circuit analysis at the very end. And the one final feature about these tools, or this particular tool, is that it's got an infrared and you can actually transfer the data to a small handheld printer, battery controlled, and print all of your test results. Tear the sheet off, clip it to your customer's work order, and all of the full test results can be provided or kept as a record for further analysis as the boat gets older.